Well, howdy, 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 nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys and girls, and welcome to this. And remember, when I say boys and girls, it's just shorthand. Because whether, you know, anybody out there likes it or not, there are effectively two sexes, but each gender is different. That is something you can identify in your head. There are more than two genders because there are genetic differences between people. I've mentioned this before. You have people that are XY, people that are XX. That's fine. That's a good 80% of the population, possibly even more. Well, no, there's 10% on each side. So my apologies on that. But you've got the 10% on each side where you've got people that have like XYX, XYY, XYX. They're not simple male, female, man, woman. It's not that. You've, your genetics are all different. There are the people that if you check their chromosomes, they're male. But if you take a look at their body, they are biologically female. There are people that are biologically male, chromosomally female. It's a mess for a lot of people. And you can't just go, well, there's just this and this because no, there's not. I mean, there's science that shows there's not. So you can have your feelings about things, but when it comes to feelings versus fact, your feelings don't count. Not at all. Fact is what matters. That's why when you get these people that go, well, homosexuality is wrong because you don't see that in nature, do you? Well, yeah, you do. We've identified over 1,500 species right now where homosexual behavior is one of those things that happens. And that was like 10, to, well, I can't it wasn't 10 years ago, but this was years ago I read about this one. I imagine there's quite a few more species since. So it's, that's just something that happens. And then with all this big transgender rage and fear going on now, I mean, the Native Americans, and we'll jump back to this one, the Native Americans used to really venerate people that were trans because they were seen as having two souls. And they were really looked upon with wisdom. They were wise. They weren't someone to fear and go, oh, but what about people getting hurt in bathrooms when the trans people go in there? Yeah, trans people get hurt, but trans people, they get beat up. They're victims, they're not victimizers. So, can't remember exactly why all that was. Ah, yes, just as a weird, weird jump. They don't teach this in the United States and it's really, really sad because Native American culture back at the time that the United States was being made was incredible. There were cities that were over a million people, Native American cities, over a million people, huge. Everybody, everybody loved the Native Americans. Everybody, there was a huge, huge issue with people would come over to this, this country interact with the Native Americans there and they would drop everything and convert. And that was amazing. I mean, where else are you going to see that sort of thing? And so people used to convert and then go live like them and live with them because they were rejected all this European and American stuff and they wanted that and everybody Oh my God, raging hormones for all of the Native Americans. Everybody wanted to have sex with all of the Native Americans. And it didn't matter gender. Everybody was like, oh my God. The men were just like, you know, that guy over there, he looks hot. As well as going, you know, I want to have that woman. They're going, I wouldn't mind having that man either. And uh, the big thing here that this one uh, jumping to another subject when they're going, oh, even the women would do this. Well, biologically, biologically, again, this is just simple fact. Biologically, out of the box, men are either homosexual or heterosexual. Women default out of the box, bisexual. 
you are attracted to both. Culturally, you get assimilated into what is what is culturally right, what is culturally wrong. So you've got that. We're caught inside, especially in Western culture, especially Americans caught up in this stuff. There is the big glass cage of culture and culture really is like a prison at times. It tells you what's right, what's wrong, what's good, what's bad. And there's nothing wrong with that. Excuse me. I took my meds on my on an empty stomach again today. But instead of just flat doing that, sugar. So it wasn't just like taking it with water. I had other my stomach has to dissolve and eat the sugar. So it's got something in there. But it's yeah, it's whether you want to admit it or not, you know, it's, science has shown that out of the box, women default to buy. And then culturally, you're told what's right, what's wrong, the glass prison. And it's, the glass prison of culture is interesting because I call it a glass prison because it's, you can't see it. Because culture, t culture tells you what to do. Culture is like, it's like you're in a big survival box that's like, you know, a couple blocks long. And you've got a person that says, when you, or, you know, you learn through experience and you learn by watching other people that when you walk by this kind of building, you cower down, you duck. Because if you don't duck, you're going to get hurt or killed by the machines that run the box. And so when you come across this kind of building, you duck down. And when you come across this sort of situation, you hop and you skip. Because if you don't, you're going to get hurt. And so you've got all these people living in this artificial thing that have to act in a weird way to survive inside of that box. Same thing for us, too. We just don't see the prison. Culture tells us, oh, you act this way when you're around a church. So instead of ducking down, you just act a certain way when you're around a church. Culture tells us you hop and you skip when you come across this sort of situation. Business, instead of hopping and skipping, you are sitting quietly at your desk. Culture has told you. Culture tells you all of these things. And it's a glass prison because if you don't do it, culture will step on you. You will be punished by the system. And yeah, so it's the same as those people inside of that glass box where you go, well, why do they have to duck when they walk by this place? That's crazy. And then you take off your hat when you go inside of a building, if you're one of the older types, because of course, you'd never wear your hat inside. Military type right now, the first thing you do, you go inside, you take your hat off. You go outside, you put your hat on. That's culture, military culture tells you, well, you duck down when you pass by this sort of building and you hop and you skip when you do this sort of thing because when you pass by a certain type of person, you salute because if you don't, oh, you're gonna get stepped on. Yeah, you whistle when you come across this sort of color <whistles> inside of the glass prison. Yeah, and you salute and you look left when you cross the street culture t well if you if you're british of course you look right but it's culture tells you all these things and it's a glass prison thumbs up and then of course i've said it before i'll say it again on this one because here's little charvy i'm gonna dig out charvy charvy wake up charv i'm not gonna kill you i promise no 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 come on I know, you're asleep, I'm Charv, I'm sorry. Here's Charvy. I should have brought him out earlier, but he was sleeping. Plus, I'm behind. I fell asleep myself. I woke up before 5 o'clock this morning. In fact, I woke up before 4. It was about 3.30 in the morning. And so I've been up since then and in here. And it was like a little after 6 and I fell asleep. But then I woke up at like 10 after 7. But here's that old Charvy. And then, of course, I'm going to say this one again because it needs to be said. In 2012, bi neurobiologists from around the world came together and they said, they gave a great statement 
where they said all vertebrate mammals, all vertebrate mammals, birds, because they have analogous brain structures to vertebrate mammals. They're different, but analogous. And so it's because of parallel evolution, all birds, well, most birds, all vertebrate mammals, and some other creatures like octopi and the like are just as sentient as we are. We have bigger computers than they do. We run a much, much more rich operating system, but they are no less sentient. They are no less aware. They all have that spark of I and they all feel and experience and have emotions. You may be taught in school, oh, animals don't do this and that. Unfortunately, especially if you're an American, uh, public education has uh, fallen in standards so badly that it's a lot of places are still having to use books from the 1940s to learn from. Yeah, the public education system is being dismantled from the inside out here in the United States. From the... But still, I mean, life is life, isn't it? But yeah, I fell asleep this morning and so I'm tired. <laughs> I went to bed at like 11 o'clock last night because I was just exhausted. I'd been up since like 4, well, 4.30 or so the previous day, yesterday. I had to take a shower, so I was exhausted last night. It was just, no, ate some hot dogs, went to bed. But it was before 4 o'clock. It was like 3.30 I woke up this morning. And it was just, I hurt, and I was uncomfortable. I couldn't lie down anymore. So I got up, came in here, and I was just reading and tweeting and doing this and doing that, just waking up and doing stuff. And then I was just sitting here and listening to a video, and then... I woke up and it was 10 after 7. So now it is 7.27. I am way behind. I'm a good half hour behind. But I understand too, my deadlines are my deadlines. And I'm so sorry I have got to get that stuff put up over the window. I've got the cloth. I need to get tape so I can tape it up. Or staples or something so that it won't just go and fall so yay <laughs> good old sunlight try to remember what I was talking about I can't remember at all the sunlight went and blew the thing out of my head but so that that's the kind of day and morning that I've been having and that's okay I'm gonna hopefully be streaming again today I don't know that I want to stream daily I like doing it I enjoy it it's just I also need time that I can do other things. Because yesterday as well, it was eight o'clock at night before I got out to go for a walk because that's the only time I had free. I kept getting, getting up, I kept making videos and editing and rendering and uploading. I couldn't leave because I had a video I had to render, render, edit. And then I couldn't leave then because I was uploading this thing here. And then I couldn't leave then because I was recording. And it just all day until 8 o'clock that night before I could get up and go for a walk. That was kind of, I don't like that. I need to keep walking. on the. If I'm going to stay the healthiest I've ever been, because aside from a few things, I am the, ah, I am the healthiest I have ever been right now with my pulse being incredibly low everything just being low 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 and the your slower your heart beat the better because the slower it beats the more efficiently it beats so it doesn't have to beat quickly my pulse is slowly dropping down to 50 or, or less it ain't much further and it's going to be at 50 and that's fine i mean you'll find athletes their heartbeat is low just by walking i am driving my system into health. Walking is incredibly good for you. They just take a, they did a study on American postal workers, those people that just walked 
to deliver the mail and that's all they did versus other people that did sporadic exercise and they found out that the people that were in incredibly good shape were just the people that walked they didn't do anything else they just delivered mail by walking incredible shape better than anybody else who was just you know going off to the gym for a little bit you only need 20 30 minutes of hard exercise daily or just go walking it's got to be a while you, you can't just go walk 10 minutes and then go okay i'm good no 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 no. you got to spend miles and miles and miles so i've also opened up 24 hours worth of comments in my community tab my arm is really tired so i can't keep that up anymore I'm going to thank 20 to 25 people for having left me a comment. And even though I'm counting in American Sign Language, right here I still get lost. So hopefully 20 to 25. If I mispronounce a username, an American English speaker, we're really good at polluting the world, being arrogant, and telling the world to piss off. Not so much good at pronouncing people's names, but I'm doing my best. Thumbs up on that. And of course, I'm not reading the comments right now. I am just thanking you for having left me a comment. Good comment, bad comment, a different comment. The fact is you left me a comment. That's what's important. I better hurry up. I'm running out of time here. Where is Chrome? Here we are. Super Melon Brothers, thank you very, very much. And Gary Plays, greatly appreciated. Iconsti, I sure hope I'm close. Tundra Keeper, always good to see you. Kira Linham, hello, glad to see you here. Very, very good thing. And Janelle O, oh, greatly appreciated. Hell yeah, Maine. Maine? Okay, well, son of a gun. And Nebelau, thank you very, very much. Lin Lu, greatly appreciated. Talina Koble, greatly appreciated. Alessandro Mercado, Thumbs up and thank you. Dankayaz, I sure hope I'm close. Thank you. XX underscore Alaska 5000 XX. Oh, yeah, last night you had said it was like, uh, you look depressed. I was like, no, I'm just tired, exhausted because I'd been up so early late yesterday. Brian Glenn, greatly appreciated. Half Life, open parentheses, G E R, close parentheses. And Panda 8, I guess. There's no A, so it's P N D A. Bricks from Mars. And Dina Mama, thank you very much. J Rock Vampire, I sure hope you're feeling a lot better. It's been a while, and I, I hope you're feeling good. So thumbs up. And there is Winston Hilborg, thank you very very much. J P, thank you very much. Kathy Kits Cat, always good to see you. Jim Saunders, greatly appreciated. And Weiss Schnee, thank you very very much. And then last but not least, Pessimist Prime. Thumbs up and thank you. Pessimist Prime. It's like Optimus Prime, except a pessimist, I guess. But still, thumbs up, each and every one of you. Greatly appreciate it. You get me out of my head, into the real world, dealing with actual people. That's a good thing, so thank you very, very much. I do have an Amazon wish list. Well, I don't know where I've got the the thing, but if you could check it out, it's down below. If you could purchase something off that, that'd be awesome. My thanks to absolutely everybody who has purchased things for me off that list. You are incredible. It is very, very cool. You don't have to, don't feel obligated. And I've got, I'm partnered with Humble Bundle. So if you could check those guys out, if you purchase something through them using the link down below, then money's gonna get kicked back to me and eventually I'll be a paid sponsor for them. I'm not paid right now. I'm just shilling myself out for free because nobody uses the link to buy anything. So maybe if somebody does, eventually I'll be paid. You can check out my various links. I got Twitter, Facebook, GoFundMe, Patreon.com, Google+. It'd be cool if you could donate to my GoFundMe campaign or become a Patreon.com patron like one of these beautiful and awesome people. That would be beautiful and awesome. But if you cannot donate or you simply do not donate, I take all good wishes. I deposit them in the bank of my heart where I draw interest. Thank you very much. If you could toss me a like, I do appreciate all the positive validation I get from my existence. And if you could subscribe to the channel, that would be cool. But I would understand if you don't want to. But if you are down with it, I will do my best to keep you entertained from now until the literal end of time. My time, anyway. I average lifespan of an American man is 74 years. I'm 55. Hopefully, I'm not going to die of anything horrendous when I go off and get myself checked at the VA here soon. Hopefully, I've just got only minor issues that aren't going to make me die. My collar, my shirt is just driving me crazy today. Oh, it's I've only got 20 seconds left. So I've got hopefully a reaction video, game video for this channel, game video for my game channel. That'll be a good thing. So you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side. And that, my friend, is a very good thing. A very, very good thing indeed. So take care, and I'll see you.
Thumbs up on that.